dear students this is the last problem we are going to see in this topic find the image of the infinite strip 1 by 4 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 by 2 under the transformation w equal to 1 by z right the same concepts what we have seen in the previous uh, problems which were explained in the part 1 part 2 part 3 videos the concept is the same we have to find out the value of z from the transformation w equal to 1 by z so i will be getting from since w equal to 1 by z the value of z will be 1 by w whether we have to stop here or not no why because the input is in terms of x or y so we could not stop here why because i have to substitute the value of y that if i am stopping it here i could not know what is y if i know the value of y only i could replace here for that only we are proceeding the next step that is z equal to x plus i y and w equal to u plus i v again uh, we didn't explain the steps here it's very simple you what we have to do is multiply and divide by the conjugate and simplify the next step itself will be getting this so comparing the real part x equal to u by u square plus v square and y equal to minus v by u square plus v square see this is the given strip 1 by 4 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 1 by 2 so i am uh, doing like this if y equal to 1 by 4 See geometrically what it defines is it is the region between y equal to 1 by 4 and y equal to 1 by 2. Geometrically it is nothing but it is the region between y equal to 1 by 4 and y equal to 1 by 2. The entire area covers, right? So for y equal to 1 by 4, what happens? Y means Minus v by u square plus v square. This is what we got here. Y is minus v by u square plus v square. So u square plus v square cross multiplying equal to minus 4v. So u square plus v square plus 4v equal to zero. This is u square. That is a uh, remember uh, uh, what does this represents? This structure represents uh, uh, that is u square plus v square plus 4v. If the variable uh, u and v are the variables, both as degree to, so it is the circle. We have to bring it to a standard format, like this. We know the standard format of a circle is x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square equal to r square. Like that here, u minus a the whole square plus v minus b the whole square equal to r square. Why? Well, because in W plane the variables were U and V. See this one only I am having U square term, so I am leaving this as it is. How I am modifying this step? V square plus 4V. How I am modifying this is? Uh, see this V square. Write it as V. This plus 4. Whatever you are having as coefficient of V, simply write as simply divide by 2. Plus 4 divided by 2 gives you plus 2. The whole square. Then put minus this two, whatever term we are having it here. Just square this and write. So bring this to the another side. So the center is zero comma minus two, and the radius is two. Similarly, when y equal to one by two, in the same manner we are uh, solving. Y equal to one by two equals to minus v by u square plus v square. So u square plus v square equal to minus two v. This becomes here again. Proceeding in the same way, we are getting this again. It's a circle. Center zero comma minus one and radius is one. So the infinite strip is what the given region. That is the area between y equal to one by four and y equal to one by two. It is transformed into the regions between this circle and this circle. Okay. Uh, see these problems. What we have explained, or uh, what we are taking in the uh, classes, uh, 
very enough to understand the concepts but we have to practice at least uh, five problems for each and every concepts in order to ensure you are thorough on that okay uh, this uh, pdf is already been uploaded in your uh, google classroom at this end of the pdf you will be having the problems questions right these are uh, questions construction of analytic functions so conformal mapping so one question is in university uh, exam you will be having one question for sure from the topic also bilinear transformation we have some another set of videos for this also we will be facing one question from bilinear transformation and one question from conformal mapping and one question from construction of analytic function and another one from harmonic function and analytic function like this only the exam pattern will be if you are knowing any three topics that is more than enough for this entire unit okay study well all the best students